Good day, my name is Tapio Ndubing and I'll be giving a presentation titled An Atomistic Simulation Study of Arsenopyrite and Spirulite Minerals. The study is supervised by Dr. M. A. Mihlabe, Dr. P. P. M. Kondo and Prof. P. E. Mwebe. In introduction, South Africa is regarded as one of the dominant countries in mining and supplier of the platinum group minerals, which are sourced from the Bushveld complex. As such, extraction of these PGMs from their ore is important and to extract effectively one must understand the bulk and surface properties of these minerals. Spirulite is one of the most common PGM worldwide and it may be found in all kinds of geological environment. Studies on spirulite have been conducted previously using atomistic simulation by Mwepe and App Initio by Ndohai. However, the current study will focus on modifying the interatomic potential that will best describe the mineral. In figure 1, figure 1 shows the unit cell of spirulite with space group PA-3 and B is the initial configuration of a 3 by 3 supercell used in MD simulations. Methodology. The study employed atomistic simulation which uses the potential function to describe the total energy of a system in terms of atomic coordinates. To derive the interatomic potentials of asin of spirulite, we used calc code and to determine its properties we used the DL polycode where molecular dynamic calculations were run for 500 picosecond and equilibrated for 100 picoseconds. Temperature was controlled by the NBT sample. For the results and discussion, table 1 of the results and discussions shows the mechanical properties of Spirulite, the modified potential from our current study compared well with the previously derived potentials from literature. And to validate the potentials, we produced the radial distribution functions at different temperatures. At lower temperatures of 300 and 900 K, the RDFs have many peaks and sharp peaks indicating a crystalline structure at temperatures 1300k and to 2100k the peaks become broader and the number of peaks decreases showing that the structure goes through a phase transition at higher temperatures of 2500 and 2700k the peak starts to fade away, suggesting a melting point at a higher temperature. We further validated the potentials using the structural changes of the supercell at different temperatures, where figure 3 illustrates that the cubic shape is maintained up to an elevated temperature of 1300, and disordering is observed at high temperatures between 1700 to 2700. This supports the proposition put forward by the RDFs. In conclusion, the modified interatomic potentials were used to simulate molecular dynamics calculation to study the bulk properties of spirulite. The simulated uh, result were in good agreement with the DFT and MD uh, calculation from literature. Although the term the experimental melting point of spirulite has been reported to be between uh, 1173 to 1473 Kelvin in literature, our molecular dynamics calculations indicated a stable phase existing between those temperatures with melting at high temperatures over 2500 Kelvin. These are our references and acknowledgement. Thank you.